Sunday 2 on Cyclone Nora, which is entering the Gulf of Carpentaria as a Category 2 on the Sapphire Simpson scale, Category 3 on the Australian scale. It's got winds of 110 miles an hour and a pressure of 961 millibars at 11.6 degrees south, 138.9 degrees east as of 3 p.m. UTC, March 23rd. That's half past midnight Australian Central Standard Time. Looking at the forecast over the next few days, you can see the storm expected to move towards the south. Where exactly it makes landfall along the Gulf of Carpentaria coast is still somewhat unknown, but it, we do believe that the storm will stall as it makes landfall uh, expected to be somewhere towards the southern extent of the Gulf and then moving inland towards the west. Um, eventually, but who knows when at this point. It could be a real rainmaker for those communities. Right now, 149 miles east of Nilumbi and uh, 212 miles west of Waipa on the Cape York Peninsula. It's a stage four on the CDPS scale and a cyclone warning is in effect for the Gilbert River mouth, River mouth to Thursday Island, including Waipa, and the cyclone watch extending to the Northern Territory Queensland border. Here are the chances of storm conditions over the next few days as the storm pushes through. This is the rain graphic showing how the southern part of the storm will be the wettest and uh, there could feasibly be 1,500 millimetres of rainfall in one or two isolated locations according to one of the models last night. Uh, that will be for inland locations, not likely to be any um, developed areas, uh, but rainfall amounts could reach 500 to 1,000 millimetres um, widespreadly, if that is even a word. But there's a storm expected to move inland over the next few days after the weekend. Sea surface temperatures are very warm on the lead up to that landfall, 29 to 30, maybe even slightly above 30 degrees Celsius as the storm presses on towards the south. However, it's not going to be good news for Nora if it does that because wind shear is on the increase. So the storm's looking fairly good right now, uh, but that may not continue over the next few days. Uh, but at the moment, it's still looking good for Nora, as you can see on this imagery here. Recently, it's opened up an eye. Uh, the temperature of the eye has been fluctuating from around 0 to plus 10 Celsius, which is very warm for an eye um, and usually corresponds to a much stronger cyclone, but the eye wall is still not yet quite there. You can see some weaknesses there on the west and southwestern side. Um, but if the eye wall does develop with this storm uh, further, then we could be looking at a seriously strong cyclone, uh, possibly reaching... Uh, category 5 on the Australian scale, that is actually on the forecast from the Joint Avery Warning Centre, um, but Category 5 Sapphire Simpson scale? Probably not. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest on the storm. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't, search Force 13 all in text. You can also like our Facebook page under the same name and follow our Twitter handle as well, search Force 13 all in text. You can also add our Skype account and you can contact me personally on Discord. Search Fool13 at extension 9094 for tropical weather chat. Also follow our regional uh, channel Force 13 Australia and Oceania for more.